amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle torbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor, delle belle torbando al riposo. from my studio Copelli, welcome back to my channel. This video will be an amazing, interesting, very interesting. Amici in Italia, questo video sarà fantastico per voi perché oggi ho fatto una cosa speciale. Today I made something very special and unique. I think no one ever done this on YouTube, guys. So make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. Iscrivetevi e lasciate un bel like, 50.000 like. Vi farò vedere una cosa mai vista. Ok, andiamo direttamente nel video di che cosa stiamo parlando. I'm gonna speak in Italian and in English, ok? For my friend all over the world. First in English. Friends, today I'm going to show you three different dough, three different fermentation of dough. I made in purpose for this video today. So, we are going to do uh, Three different pizza, the same dough recipe, but different hours of fermentation. Make sure you pay attention. At the end of the video, comment below which one you prefer. So we are going to do the eight hours fermentation, 48 hours fermentation, versus one week of fermentation, guys. Una settimana, one week. You believe this? One week, seven days of fermentation. It doesn't smell bad, so that means it's really good. I believe this is the last day of, uh, it can be good, but uh, I'm going to try it because I'm excited. This is the first time that I have seven days fermentation versus seven days, 48 hours and eight hours. So we are going to see what's different. Let me explain in Italian. Amici, vi dimostrerò le tre differenze, qui abbiamo fatto lo stesso impasto, però abbiamo eh, delle fermentazioni totalmente differenti. Abbiamo 8 ore di fermentazione verso 48 ore verso una settimana di fermentazione. Ovviamente nel frigorifero perché sennò esplodeva. Quindi, ok guys, let's get in the video. Okay, so we're gonna make, uh, we're gonna try to make all in the same time. This way you'll see the difference. Let's start with uh, eight hours. Like you can see, this one, of course, is very simple to do. Like you can see here, the dough, eight hours. Done. Let's get the 48 hours. This one, you can tell already, that it's a little bit more soft compared to the other one. You can see here, by Favedin. Now let's get the one, one week. One week. Gonna cut it really good. This one is a little bit more wet because a lot of humidity. Gonna use a little bit more flour. And we're gonna put it down, pam. And like you can see here in this one, the one week is more, more, uh, uh, more water, more hydration. This one is a little bit more air, I want to say. C'è molta più aria. Okay, let's start in order. I'm gonna get the eight hours. So like you can see, it's very easy to stretch. 72 hours. This is already much softer. So this one I'm gonna stretch like that. Then the one week, which is a, the little bit more harder one. This is very uh, fragile because, of course, the air inside is much more 
take off the flour. Of course, the dough, if it was uh, acid, you'll see they will, uh, will break. So this one is still good, the, the, the dough. So let's get to the focus on the video. This way we don't get confused. So I'm gonna do this. On the 40 and the, on the one week, we're gonna do one cut. On the 48 hours, we're gonna do two cuts. And the eight hours one, nothing. Okay. So in this video, we're gonna make a classic margherita. Amici, andiamo a fare tre pizze identiche. Tre margherite. Così non ci possiamo sbagliare e vedere la differenza da tutte e tre. Una settimana, abbiamo un taglio, 48 ore, due tagli, e la, quella da 8 ore, niente. Ci mettiamo un po' di parmigiano, parmesan cheese, pecorino, then put some fresh mozzarella, top just like that, just like that, the 8 hours one, just put some mozzarella, done. Ok. I'm gonna make it really simple. Let's fire up the oven. Today we are going to cook the pizza uh, wood oven. Okay, let's put the one week first in the oven. We're gonna make it the same exactly way this one cut there. Let's put it in the oven. Pump. Oh, 48 hours. This is too cut here, I don't want to loosen it. And then eight hours. This, this is a little bit more strong. Pump, let's put it in the oven. Voila, che ecco qua. Cuociamo. Okay, the eight hours, done. The 48 hours, done. And the one week is done. I mean, guys, remember the one cut, abbiamo un taglio qui, due tagli qui, two cut, and this one no cut. So here we go. But you can see the texture of the dough. And the crunchiest. This one a little bit more soft. You can, you can see? Uh, I don't know if you can hear. Let me see if I can put the microphone close to the to the door. This one is the most crunchy. This is medium and this is not too crunchy. Put back the microphone. Okay, we're gonna put some uh, uh, fresh basil on top. To finish our pizza. Pum, pum, pum. Remember guys I made this video really really simple this way to understand the type of fermentation. So this pizza is not perfect but it's just to show you uh, the three different the three different fermentation of pizza so the versus so comment below which one you think is the best. Like you can see this one Eight hours, I'm going to see the bottom two, which is cooks different, differently. This is the most crunchy one. It's very light. Oh, done. Gonna put some olive oil on top. Boom. Boom. And boom. Fantastic. Okay, let's start to see the inside of the pizza because not only the outside, we have to see the inside. So let's cut the one eight hours. Can I cut a little piece just to see the difference? See what bene? Okay, let's get the I'll show you closer later. By the way, the 48 hours. The feeling is the texture is a little bit more crunch here. I'm cutting with the scissors because this way you can tell. Now let's get the the one week old. 
then not that much of crust but uh, it's uh, I can tell it is really light skid inside of the crust eight hours Forty eight hours and uh, one week old. Now is your time to choose which one is the best. So comment below which one you think is the best. The semi uh, the one week fermentation, the forty eight hours fermentation versus the eight hours fermentation. Commentate sotto quale qual è la vostra preferita o quale pensate che sia la migliore grazie per la visualizzazione lasciate un like guys thumbs up and subscribe for my history Diego Belli every week a lot of videos now I'm not gonna stop anymore ciao e ci vediamo dopo andiamo ad assaggiare ora ok now is the time of the taste let's get the first one the test of the l'assaggiamo Taste this one. This is the 48 hours. Mm. I can tell already it's a bunch of different because they cool down a little bit, so it's a little bit uh, already different. This is a, looks a little bit more lighter. Let's get to one week. I never taste it one week. It's more crunchy. Definitely, if I have to judge, I judge with a one week old. That's amazing. Coming soon, much, much more. Nothing. Thank you so much for watching from my studio Copelli. I'll see you at the next one.